Hello students, welcome to the channel TopGate. In this video, I will discuss one more Turing machine problem that is uh, to design a Turing machine for the language having equal number of A's and B's. Okay, so uh, we have done uh, one question of Turing machine that was to design a Turing machine for the language A and B N. Okay, so in that one also there were equal number of A's and the B's, but there were some restrictions. The string has to start with A, the string has to end with B. After B, there the, there cannot be any A. But in this one we don't have any restrictions. Okay, so in this one the string can start with A, the string can start with B, the string can end with A, the string can end with B. After B there can be n number of A's. After A there can be n number of B's and so on. Okay, okay. So let's uh, first of all understand what kind of strings are possible in this language and then we'll design a Turing machine for that one. Okay, so uh, it is saying that uh, the language is having equal number of A's and the B's. So there is no restriction. Fine. The string can start with any uh, either A or with B. So, so let's suppose the string that we have is A A B B and then B B A A. Fine. So in this one we have equal number of A's and equal number of B's. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 A's and we have 4 B's in this one. So I can have any combination. I Fine. We can have any combination. Like in this one I have B after A and then I have a A after B. So any combination is possible in this case. So what is the logic in this one? The logic is very simple. What I will do? I will start with this one and I will change it to x okay and then i'll go forward go to the right hand side and while going on to the right hand side i will skip every a because i'm done with a now i need to search for its pair and the pair is b only fine because i need to make sure that number of a's and the number of b's are equal so therefore if i found a now next i'll search for the first b so i'll go on to the right hand side and in the way i'll skip every a okay all the a's will be skipped and as soon as i find the b i'll change it to y okay then here again i'll take a left hand because my work is done okay first iteration is complete now again i'll go back and while going back i'll skip this a in between okay i'll get only a's in between i'll not get b's now okay why because we have changed the very first b to y so i'll not go get any b in this one i'll go back go to the left hand side and i'll continue to go on unless and until i find this x as soon as i find this x i'll again take a right turn and here i'll find whether I, I can find a also i can find b also now i'm finding a i'll again change it to x and again i'll take a right turn now again while going on to the right turn in the way i can have several a's plus i can have several y's also okay so i'll skip all the a's i'll skip all the y's and what i need because i'm doing for a so i need a b for this a fine so as soon as i find the first b i'll again change it to y and then again go to the left hand side okay so this is the very simple logic uh, let's take an input tape and then start designing a turing machine for this one so let's take this uh, input tape in the input tape we have a blank and then a a b b then again b again b again a again a followed by several blanks and the pointer is currently on to the first day okay so uh, let's start start designing so currently i am at state q naught that is the initial state and the element which i am finding right now i am finding a this time so i'll simply take a turn for a that is if you find a you should change it to x and go to the right hand side so this a will be changed to x and I, I i'll now go on to the right hand side and while going on to the right hand side i will skip all the a's because i need to search a b for this a okay so here i'll take a self loop that is if you find a keep it as a and go to the right hand side so all these a's will be skipped and finally the pointer will now come on to this b fine so here i'll take a move for b that is if you find a b you should change it to y and your work is done on to the right hand side now again go to the left hand side and search for this x and just right hand side to this x you will find your next element whatever it is maybe it can be a it can be b whatever it is so i'll go to some state say q2 okay at q2 what i'll do 
I have to skip all the A. So this B has sorry uh, this uh, here I was here at Q1. So that is if you find a B change it to Y and go on to the left hand side. So I will go on to the left hand side. This B is changed and the pointer is now pointing on to this A and the machine is at Q2 now. Okay. Now at Q2 what I need to do? I don't have to do anything in this one. Okay. Because I have to come to this X and onto the right hand side of this X there is my next element. Okay. But right now I don't know whether this A is on to the exact right of the A or not. So here I will skip all the A. That is if you find the A you should keep it as A and go to the left hand side. Okay. Now while going on to the right, right, left hand side my pointer will now point on to this X and right now what I am finding? I am finding a x this time. So one cycle is complete, one iteration is complete. Now again I have to come back to the initial state. So I will therefore come to the initial state that is if you find x, keep it as x and go to the right hand side. So this x will be x only and the pointer will now point on to this a now. Okay, And the machine is at q0. Now at q0 machine again knows that if you find a, a you should change it to x. So I found this a, this a has been changed to x and move to the right so the pointer will now point on pointer will now point on to this y and the machine is at q1 at q1 machine knows that if you find a you should keep it as a and go to the right and if you find b you should change it to y but at q1 i am not finding any of these two i am finding a y this time fine so this y again has to be skipped so i'll here on, on the self loop only i'll take a move for y that is if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the right hand side. So this y will, is, will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this b now. And at q1 machine knows that if you find a b you should change it to y. So this b has been changed to y and you should take a left turn. Therefore my pointer will now point on to this y now. Okay. So at, my, at q2 machine knows that if you find a a you should keep it as a if you find x keep it as x only and go to the right okay but at q2 i'm not finding a i'm not finding x what i'm finding i'm finding a y okay so this y has to be skipped because why i have to come back to the x to start the new cycle to start the new iteration okay so here i'll skip this y this is if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the left hand side so this y will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this x and with x x it will come on to q0 and here it will take again a right turn it will now point on to this y okay so at q0 what i am finding i am finding a y this time now this y i don't have to do anything because this y has already been pro processed okay so here i'll take a self loop and i'll write if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the right hand side that is in this cycle everything has been changed now everything has been processed there are no new elements so i should go on to the right hand side so this part that is if you find a y you should keep it as y only and go to the right hand side so this y will be skipped all these two y's will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this b and at q0 machine does not know that if you find a b then what it has to do okay so again i'll take a move for b that is if you find a b you should change it to y and go to the right hand side. So I found this b, change this b to y and go to the right hand side. The pointer will now point on to this b. Okay. And the machine is at q3 this time. Okay. Now the first element in this cycle is b. So therefore I should search for the pair for this b. That is I should find a a for this one. So I'll go on to the right hand side and search for the very first a. As soon as I find the first a, change it to x, my work is done. Again, I'll start the second iteration. Okay. So again, I'll go. That is the machine is at b. This b has been changed to y and machine is at currently b. Now all these b's have to be skipped because I need a a this time. So here I'll take a self loop. That is if you find a b, you should keep it as b and go to the right hand side. So all the b's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this a while skipping all the b's. Okay. All the b's are skipped and the machine is at currently, pointer is at currently a. Okay. So if you find a a, you should change it to x and now 
come to the left hand side because your work onto the right hand side is done now. So I'll take a left turn. This A has been changed to X and take a left turn and the pointer will now point on to this B and the state is say Q4 this time. Okay. So at Q4, the pointer is at B. Again, this B has to be skipped. Why? Because I need to come to the initial element. The initial element is Y because near to this one just onto the right hand side of this y i can find any element okay so therefore i need to come to this y and from here i'll take a right turn so here i will take a self loop and i'll write if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the left hand side so i'll skip this b and the pointer will now point on to this y okay and here one cycle is complete i have to start for the next cycle therefore what i'll do I'll simply come to the initial state that is if you find a y keep it as y and go to the right hand side so this y will be y and the pointer will now point on to this b now okay again machine is at q0 okay machine is at q0 and the element to process is b this time so machine knows that if you find a b you should change it to y so this b has is changed to y and go to the right the pointer will now point on to this x and the machine is at Q3. Now at Q3, I don't have a move for X because I'm finding X this time. Okay. Earlier I was finding only B, but right now I'm finding a X also. So here I'll take a move for X. That is if you find X, keep it as X and go to the right hand side. So this X will be skipped and what I'll find, I'll find a A, which is the pair for the B, which I have changed to Y. Okay. So machine knows at Q3, if you find a A, you should change it to x so this a will be changed to x and go to the left hand side therefore the pointer will now point on to this x and we are at q4 now at q4 i again have to skip this x why because i need to come to the element from where i started the journey so i started my journey with this one okay so i should come to this one only because just onto the right hand side of this b i can find my next element in this one i don't have any element but i can find okay so what I need to do, I have to skip this X. So here on this Q4 only, if you find X, keep it as X and go to the left hand side. So this X will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this Y at Q4 machine knows that if you find a Y, you should keep it as Y and go to the right hand side. Machine will come at Q0 and this Y will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this X. Okay. Now at Q0, I don't have a move for X this time, fine. So because I can have any element, any element after this A also, therefore I need to skip everything here, okay. So here I will take a move for X also, that is if you find X, keep it as X and go to the right hand side. So this X will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this blank. Now coming on to this blank means all the elements of the string has been processed there is no element left now so therefore i should go on to some final state so at q0 i'll take a move for b that is if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the right hand I, here you can go either onto the right hand side or onto the left hand side anything you can take in this one okay so go to some state say q5 make it as final and we are done okay so this is your turing machine for the language having equal number of A's and equal number of B's. Thank you so much.